With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. Most of the Northern Sun teams play their first football game on Thursday. The Marauders will wait until Saturday. You Mary heads to Sioux Falls to play Augustana. It will be the first game for Shan Schillinger as a head coach. The Marauders have spent fall camp looking to learn as much as possible, but there's a lot of new in the program right now. It's kind of a spring ball, fall camp combined in one, getting to know this football team. And, um, but what I'm learning is that uh, we've got a bunch of guys that, that like ball and, and can take coaching. And um, we know we've got a long ways to go. It's going to be a process, but uh, one day at a time. And I like the way the guys are working. Schillinger is taking over for Craig Bagnell, who left U Mary to go to the University of South Dakota. The Marauders have a new softball coach. Amy Schmeckpepper comes to Bismarck after three years as the head coach at Garden City Community College in Kansas. Ever since the bottom bouncer was invented, a nightcrawler has been the bait of choice to use with a spinner. Well, Johnny Candle says not so fast in this week's Pros Pointer. The use of soft plastics to catch walleye is no secret. Having the availability of the proper size, shapes, and color make the benefits almost obvious. But I've been using soft plastic lures on my spinners more often lately. There's two key elements to making this work. The first one is the hook. I prefer the bait holder style with the barbs on the shank of the hook to help hold the plastic firmly in place. The second part is how we hook the plastic. I thread the plastic on much like you would on a jig. This gives us the confidence when we miss a bite that that plastic is still there and we can leave our presentation in the water. And it also keeps us from reaching into a dirty bucket of night crawlers constantly throughout the day. Man, that seems really efficient to me. I'm Johnny Candle, and that's this week's Pros Pointer. Next week, Johnny puts a wrap on our 27th year of Pros Pointers on your news leader. WDA Golf at Riverwood today. We'll pick it up with Mandan's Ruby Height. She's been solid all year. Here's a chip at number seven that sets up a par. The Braves have really good depth on their team this year, an 88 for Height. Anna Huddle putting for a birdie. It just runs out of speed, so it's a little tap in par for Mandan's top golfer. She has won every WDA medalist honor so far this season. The only player in the 70s today, she shot a 75. Dickinson's Kendall Peterson with her wedge sets up a par. She had a solid round with an 82. Overall team results, Mandan out in front once again with a 320. That's 28 shots better than the field. Century was in second place, and again, Huddle was the medalist. All right, thanks, Lightly. We'll be right back after this.